So the, the Harlander vehicle is an autonomous uh, bus service that we're running on the Harbour Estate. What it's created to do is to deliver last mile connectivity from just across the street from the Titanic railway station down to the Catalyst building on our site. And it's to stop people having to make that walk every day if they're traveling to work, particularly down there where you have a lot of innovation taking place. And it runs a circular route around the estate uh, around 1.5 miles and it delivers four different bus stops. So we have the start and finish of those at those two points, but we also stop at Belfast Met and the Titanic Museum. The project's been excellent so far, bringing together a wide range and consortium to deliver what is a, a really groundbreaking uh, project has been it has been incredible. Uh, so a couple of years in the making, vehicle's been on the road, it's been tested thoroughly the last six months off site. Uh, now we've had it on the running here for a number of months now. And last year we started to take people on it in, a, in an active manner. Yeah, it's running its route, its, its normal route, uh, very effectively. Uh, we've invited tenants onto, onto the vehicle. We, our own staff have been on the vehicle just to get a feel how people will interact on a regular basis with it. And we've just been picking up passengers as they're at the four bus stops that are uh, around the route. Really the target for everybody and ourselves included is to what we call level four autonomy. And that's where the safety operator would be on the vehicle, but there'd be no steering wheel as such, no intervention on the bus side. You'd have remote tele operations that would help support the vehicle or more importantly, a fleet of vehicles. So the Harlander is step one for us. Uh, we would see this uh, growing as we go through with other vehicles, other providers uh, in the next number of years. By 2029, we would expect full port autonomy uh, for our own public transportation within the, within the site. OXA has multiple different vehicles that the universal driver is driving right now as we speak. So we have uh, software that is driving large uh, uh, terminal tractors that carry containers, uh, like containers you see here at the, uh, at the Belfast Harbour in the ports. Uh, when you go to the airport and you see some of the, the ground systems equipment, uh, our software is driving those vehicles as well. Uh, it's driving passenger transportation systems, as you've seen here with the Highlander bus, uh, and we anticipate it driving all manner of different uh, vehicles and applications in the future. So there are routes where you can't have the glider service running. This could feed that. Uh, but also things like we haven't considered yet, but we, we will start to consider is what would how do we move cruise passengers into the city? Autonomy could play a big role in that. And even in terms of connectivity to the airport, coming through the Harbour Estate, there's an opportunity for autonomy there on the public side. And on the port side, there's a significant level of opportunity with industrial applications as well.